Hey, good people. What's going on? Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Time is pretty late night, four something a.m. in the uh, city, and I'm doing a couple of videos. I missed out on yesterday. I was feeling a bit lazy and tired. Very long day, a lot of work nowadays. Uh, so I got a few fragrances. I got a uh, few decants as well. I'm very, very excited. Some are arriving tomorrow. So I was not going to buy a lot of fragrance this month, but I went kind of like, you know, sometimes you have to feed your soul. So I got three decans, which I'm going to review in time. Tom Ford, uh, I think, uh, Gravity were Parfum, um, DS and Durga, Amber Kisso, and then Tom Ford, uh, I think, this is Costa Zura, all right? So these are fragrance reviews, which are, which are coming up soon. I just got them, so I'll test it, probably. And you see this new one, new baby that I have. Bulgari Man uh, Renaissance, which I wanted for a very long time. I'll review that soon. Finish impression. And then I got a few more. So this particular episode, I want to do a list because I miss doing that. No, I don't miss doing that. I do that all day. So I have 13 fragrances. Uh, some of you want to see some fragrance. They asked me, some of my Bangladeshi brothers who are new in the game, they asked me, uh, bro, can you suggest me some perfume which will get me compliments? So first thing I tell you about compliments, short story, okay, before I start, short intro. Compliments are never granted. What I mean by that, you're never assured. You're not a sure thing you're going to get. Like, hey, you see Jeremy, you put Lanu Delom, you're so much more sexier. May not be the case. Your attitude can be wrong. You know, people may not like you if you're rude, if you do not bath, you know, if you do not take shower and you smell unpleasant off putting and you sweat a lot, you do not trim, you know, big factor. You know, a lot of people have hair all over their parts, you know, so your pubes, no one will smell that. And then you know you don't have a clean head you know you smell or you know what i mean off-putting smell you know and then you don't have uh, clean clothes if you do not dress properly or you know like nice shoes and all that nice watches so the whole thing you know the lifestyle basically it's about look right first impression so smell is a different thing it complements your uh, persona or your uh, personality and people judge you based on all that so there's no assurance like you're gonna buy the perfume and you're gonna get girlfriend girlfriend you know you're not gonna get that in instantly but if you know you know you're an interesting person you like dressing up nicely you are clean neat and clean and your hair is not a mess these kind of fragrances i got compliments so not sure you're gonna get as well but i'm gonna share 13 fragrances, okay and some of them are weird <laughs> okay so i'll go one by one long intro sorry i'll go first fragrance bringing back mont blanc not legend mont blanc individual People are almost forgetting about it. No, no one's talking about it after Jeremy sort of uh, uh, stopped talking about it. But I know this fragrance before Jeremy's time. Okay, I wore this in my college days. I wore this in my university life. Uh, this one, Lacoste, uh, Lacoste Purom, Hugo Boss Bottle, Armani's Code. These were my go-to guys, okay? And I, back in the days, enjoyed it, but it was not as favorite of mine as Boss Bottle. But this perfume is special in two ways this one i think it's very similar in many ways uh, to creed's original i think uh, was the fragrance i forget the name all the time original sun tub okay beautiful bottle i had it i sold it off crazy okay back in the days i was crazy i think this one came before that so your poem even came before that so all these fragrances have something in common but they're different in their own ways uh, unique in their own ways this fragrance got me compliments in my journey okay this is quite long lasting sweet and women especially want compliments from women this is one fragrance it's masculine it's sweet it's kind of mysterious not everybody's wearing it now so, uh, maybe winter nights early winter days you can wear this sweet little fragrance and it is pretty nice you know i'll tell you if you wear this after two months or so when you smell it it's nice it's like a raspberry with a fabric softener like jeremy says this is one compliment garner fragrance and there are many more of course which i didn't include today so first one is mont blanc individual okay so i'll go number 12. number 12 is a very high risk factor fragrance okay this is called rasasi shura rasasi shura those who do not know do not blind by this perfume okay smell it if you survive after the initial blast then you test the dry down and you wear it you get a sample you wear it for a few days it's not as blue or aquatic as it seems this is ashy this is sweet this is syrupy thick and it has old leather all the uh, scary notes you know that you can find in a perfume this one has it so this one shura oh man this is similar to also tobacco blaze by rasasi 
and there's another one lighter version is called i think shagav okay shagav uh nafa is al shagav right why am i putting out of those three this one is that in winter time or even like it rained or something and you just have the right time and you put a couple of spritz it will sort of like destroy everybody's perfume one thing second thing if still people don't know this perfume okay if you wear this in a place where people are wearing mostly let's say the known ones you know savage bleu de chanel you may pick up compliments from this i did get both compliments and complaints but you know have to pick up the right day okay rasa sishura is such a fragrance it's a risk to play with fire but it's a good one number 11 i'm going to go a cheap fragrance okay affordable one 30 something dollars maybe 30 35 this fragrance okay you'll be surprised why when i put white musk i told you the list is going to be a little bit weird for men white musk for men okay simple perfume musky perfume fresh clean citrusy musk and the bottle is absolutely beautiful they don't give a box with this body shop step up your game i do have some favorites from this house like activist is my favorite man this one oh man the musk from this when i smell this if people can smell it on you it's a short-lived perfume okay this is not super long lasting okay if you can get kills original mask that would be lovely but if women can detect this if you spray it on them they would say yum okay because it evokes the feel of fresh like a linen fresh clothing like a laundry or soapy same thing that prada does okay so the mask in this is very very beautiful and charming just the things you have to keep respraying every two two three hours okay so this one got me compliments with a white shirt beautiful fragrance white mask by body shop for men yeah there you go that's the choice yeah beautiful beautiful perfume right there so now let's see top 10 i'm gonna go this fragrance right here there is this thing pakoraban ultra red man there is this ongoing debate if this really discontinued or this is re-released or it never been uh, discontinued at all so i did have pakoraban ultraviolet man which i have that one is more more complex than this but this one right here i'll tell you let's say you are sitting in a crowd or a table right you're having like a nice discussion all that then you just spray it like secretly somehow that opening and you're in open space that like this nice breeze moving along people smell this people will just go wow what is that i think there's a blood orange or something like that and it's a pretty reminiscent to ultra zest somehow okay this one angel muse i find them all similar to ultra zest this fragrance right here it can be your replacement in a way and it's much more affordable than ultra zest definitely it's a compliment garner i got compliments from it this is pakoraban ultra red man check it out if you can find it get it next number nine let's go middle eastern once more kalemat black or saharal kalemat by arabian Oud. check out my review on that i have an old bottle which is far end like at the back which has much darker juice than this, this is my more newer batch like two years old let me show you what happens i showed it before actually sorry okay let me show you what happens when fragrance macerate you can see the juice color difference okay this is i think seven years old this one is about two and a half or three years old but in time if i let it sit like this time it will get darker what dark juice means basically it is going to get more intense middle eastern fragrance hardly go bad you know they just go more more and more strong this thing the old one is a beast i never let anyone <laughs> because this much juice i you know save it for special occasion this fragrance is a compliment garner it doesn't smell like wood it's a mid it's like a, a middle eastern house but made more westernized wood with a lot of chocolate gourmet notes it's very chocolatey i love this this is edible okay kalamak black presentation is mind-blowing man i just love this perfume this is one of my most favorite fragrances from this house kalamak black by arabian wood all right so moving on next one is gonna be one of those fragrances you know it's weird in this list but this is good this is a hidden gem this is a women's perfume by the way from al haramein i bought this my early part of my journey uh, lavender femme by al haramein this is the golden bottle it's pretty similar to the al haramein lavender line they have many now lavender night lavender intense lavender for men uh, many more okay this one right here it's a clone of Aventus for her by Creed. And not many people know that. This is really nice. I smell Aventus for her once. Aventus is, of course, more polished. The opening is magical. But if you minus that, if you forget about that, that 
Aventus for her dry down and this same this this one has its own citruses okay uh, beautiful juice this one when i wore it i got compliments that's what i'm trying to say this uh, line is very very cool very long lasting good oil just the bottles are kind of cheap but lavender femme if you like Aventus for her you can try that great fragrance next one another women's perfume do you believe this yeah i do have <laughs> some women's perfumes that i wear from time to time this is one of them i don't have a full bottle i have a 20 ml uh flower bomb by victor and rolf you see spice bomb this is the uh female counterpart of spice bomb okay i used to have a big bottle of it which i finished right and then i bought this because i didn't want to buy a full bottle but this fragrance does flower bomb some women's perfume okay like let's say armani c uh, decadence this one um uh, chanel allure sensual i would love to wear this perfume see rolling in love i love that perfume it's kind of feminine but i love it this is one of those powerful fragrance okay yeah sorry i had to sneeze man <laughs> so this fragrance if you see somewhere give it a try i got compliments like people ask me i smelled you they, they told me i smelled you from across the road it was obviously a winter breezy night but people can smell it from far not one kilometer but people can smell it from far and if they can smell it if they like it they compliment you this is one of those fragrances i'm just let you know if you guys uh, don't mind wearing women's perfumes give that a try i find that very very unisex flower bomb very powerful next one compliment galore number six then we hit top five this is a compliment king okay this is called pakoraban invictus most hated bottle most hated name the trophy everybody hates it uh, not everybody some people really like it like me when i started my journey this was one of my first few fragrance i had a small 50 ml this is 100 ml now i think 100 150 i don't know uh i think 100 ml anyway so i do have the other invictus but this thing massive one compliments this is the kind of fragrance if you're not a frag head let's say you are just like a general like a normal dude and just like wearing cologne you just have one perfume that does everything for you for an overseas trip uh, office where well, you wear this everywhere basically okay, after shower you put it on you go out you put this on and you don't get tired of it you just keep buying new bottle new bottle invictus brings compliments ladies love it it's kind of like a douchey kind of fragrance douchebag sort of or d-bag rather but it's a great compliment garner okay it's a sweet fresh uh, kind of fragrance called a bay leaf note okay after one invictus now he top five some popular choices here all of them are very popular very obvious office for men by jeremy fragrance fragrance one i don't know i get confused it's just jeremy perfumes first official release this is the third batch the first batch was like a square bottle second one was this bottle by transparent but this is the last one this one's uh this one date all the releases that he has very important is that performance all his perfumes perform okay that's why it was a massive hit plus his marketing definitely this fragrance got me compliments i get similar to sabor sometimes to uh, ultra mill i don't know i get pineapple sometimes i don't know what's in it ambrox and perhaps a little bit juice left i kept it for my next winter okay if i make it i have plenty of juice left about 10 ml this is a great fragrance discontinued now but office for men man i love this perfume sometimes feel like hachiwa lighter take pineapple wind it, it's similar to many perfumes right but it's uh, alberto moria's creation this is built for compliments if you can find a bottle a good price get it office for men by jeremy number four king aventus okay not number one but i have few more favors that i have aventus got me compliments from my lady okay she loves it she thinks this is one of the sexiest fragrance i own uh, of course this was my second bottle i cannot afford any more of the bottles so i'm saving the sprays for special occasion only the 120 ml this is a 2015 or 16 batch i don't have a smoky batch but this is such a beautiful fragrance to wear in winter summertime it dies quite fast and the, it, it goes a bit to green on me i love the pineapple on this and the bergamot kind of like apples you know uh, something meat bit spicy it's just a man's man perfume really nice but it's way overpriced for what it is Fritz Aventus, number four. Number three, let's go compliments galore. Chanel Alirom Sport O Extreme EDP. They have EDP and EDP. My bottle is almost finished. I have about a few sprays left, 5 ml or something. Yeah, 5 ml to 10. This thing has mask, heavy on mask. Okay, people say Tonka beans, uh, kind of like a fresh uh, original Chanel Alirom Sport mixes with mask. I think this is a Tonka bean and mask heavy perfume. It has this orange blossom, little bit orangey up top but that it gets kind of like a musky and then women love it it's 
long lasting people say it doesn't last wear it in evening time you'll see on the sexiest perfume you want to impress anybody okay this is definitely high up in the order i got more compliments from this than the previous ones okay chanel young sport or extreme next one number two then we hit number one number two is this all big names i told you dior savage you have to bring some obvious you know if you can bring a uh, bloody chanel i can also bring savage savage it's still it rules it rules um <laughs> the world why johnny depp face of this fragrance everybody loves johnny depp they hate amber heard just like me but uh more so than that always get compliments on this people ask you smell nice they say you smell nice it's familiar but it smells nice like a fresh perfume a touch spicy touch woody ah man this perfume savage i have to pay tribute number two is dior savage number one what beats all these fragrance for compliments you'll be surprised man when i show you number one number one today is massive bottle of dior uh sorry dior dylan blue by versace 200 ml 200 ml for a reason okay i love these fragrances in bangladesh uh if you have this top five i tell you at least this top six all the last or the first six that i showed you if you have this six friends in your collection you are good you are like jeremy says walking like a god reference to this fragrance smell me i'm god right remember that <laughs> but dylan blue man it's uh i don't know how i i even recommend this over dior Sauvage because it's the same dna sort of but this one has more power it projects more and it's youthful anybody can wear it it's just more modernized more projecting than versace purum the original which is great but it's more aquatic and ozonic but i would say a dylan blue projects more and it it gets compliment for everybody okay when i enter a building or restaurant people look at me i know they are looking at my perfume there you go so those are the 30 fragrances i want to show you but do your thing test them do not blind buy and uh, if you get results do let others know what are the fragrances that got you compliments if you get any compliments at all uh, if you don't get don't be mad okay uh, i mean i'm just a messenger do not shoot the messenger uh, shoot the message take care have a nice day i'll see you soon bye bye